Okay, so I have gone a little over a week without any milk because the bigger this baby gets, the stronger she gets, and she keeps breaking through my barriers and getting to Helga <laughs> before we get a chance to milk her out. But I think I got it fixed, so I wanted to show you what we changed in the goat pen. Okay, I guess I should have done it before, but if you look back at some of my videos with the goats in the barn, you'll see how we set it, had it set up. I had two two by fours across this way, and I would just stick pallets in between them. Um, and that worked really well for a while, but since Shauna has had her baby, she has become a much more aggressive barn mate, <laughs> even to Dottie. So we can't keep Dottie in with Shauna anymore. So we were trying to separate Shauna from Helga and Dottie and then separate Dottie from Helga. And I would have a pallet this way in between the two, but no matter what I did, either Dottie would push herself through or Helga would push it out. And so we've gone a little over a week with no milk. So, I've changed it up a little. So I made a frame out of a bunch of our scraps and some leftover fencing. Um, and just some broken ratchet straps to tie it to the pallets. Because I still want to be able to take this out when I clean the barn. Um, so I didn't want to have anything secure. I guess it would be even better if I put some hardware in here and I could just clip it in and that's probably what I'll change it to when I get the hardware. I just don't have the hardware right now. <laughs> so there's still a gap here but this side will be for Shauna and her little guy and then I have another ratchet strap here I will use to lace back and forth. The water will stay here so that way both Helga and Shauna can reach it and drink it from either side. This little space will be Helga's sleeping area and this space will be Dottie's sleeping area or vice versa. I'm not sure, you know, it, it doesn't really matter whoever um, Whoever gets on what side first, it doesn't matter, but these separate sides. And this is just some baling twine tying this pallet in place and then pulling the fencing up close so she can't, so Dottie can't push her way through. Um, and fingers crossed that this will work. At first glance, it probably doesn't look like a lot of space for a goat, but we are trying to sell off Shauna and her kid because Shauna has become so aggressive that I'm, I've lost my patience with her um, and it, it's making it, making our dairy venture uh, not fun anymore and that's, that's not what I want. If it's not fun, I can't do it. So hopefully this will work. And then once we sell off Shauna and the kid, one side will be for Dottie and one whole side will be for Helga. And it will be much more room and I won't have to clean the barn nearly as often. We also have some new additions. Can you hear them? Hi, babies! Oh, little chicky chick chicks! Oh. oh, this little guy! Say, Mama! Oh, here they come! <laughs> They're like, Mama! I can't get out! <laughs> I can't get out! So, we had 12 eggs under there, 6 hatched. We had um, one of the little chicks got stepped on by the rooster. Stop eating my clothes. By the rooster, and it didn't make it. So we're down to five chicks. But I'm really excited. 
So these girls have done well to sit on and hatch their own their own eggs. They're doing really well teaching them and caring for them. Uh, this was all sudden. I didn't have a separate brooder space. The girls just started sitting and they've all been with the whole flock the whole time. Um, and just that one one incident. So it seems let's see Hi little chickies. It seems as if they're doing pretty well. Hi, mamas. Little chickies. So hopefully the next day or so I'll start building our new chicken roost. And it will give us much more space in the goat barn. Or in the barn. And it will be, it will turn into just a goat barn. So, yay little chickies. Hopefully, this keeps Helga away from Miss Dottie. I see you over there, little tiny. And of course, Shauna. Sorry, girl. But you got to go. You are too mean. They do fantastic out in the yard. But as soon as you close that barn door, she gets extremely dominant and just bum rushes my poor girl. Um, and Helga doesn't have horns. Um, she's already, you know, scratched her up good a couple of times. So I don't have an issue with the horns. It's, it's the major personality difference here. Um, and I can't afford a vet bill to try and save her if something goes wrong. So bye, Shana. Good morning. It sounds like it worked. Let's see. I'll be so upset. <laughs> so upset. If she made it through. Let's go check it out. Yeah, boy. Everyone is still on their side. Even little tiny. We didn't name him, but... <laughs> This dog keeps calling him Tiny because he's a tiny goat, so that's his name until he goes somewhere else. Yeah. Good morning, girls. Shauna, you're going to get stuck. Don't do that. And Dottie is loud and saying, Mama. Yes, it worked. I think we finally got it figured out.